Introducing the Transport Traverse Cantilever Gate System from Ameristar Perimeter Security. Transport Traverse is an engineering marvel that challenges the status quo of typical cantilever designs. Its unique bottom track with carriage support rollers perfectly balances the entire gate structure over a single axis for smooth, effortless transition. The Transport Traverse series has advanced its product offering to include larger gates, all while decreasing the framework counterbalance, enabling big gates to fit into smaller spaces. This new framework architecture unites the versatility and advantages of a component design with an engineered and tested cantilever gate that is best in class. Tools and Prep For these procedures, you will need the following tools. Begin by carefully removing all gate components from their packaging. Spread all of the components out neatly in a large, flat, clean area. It may be helpful to place the gate components on top of 4x4 boards or dunnage to aid in assembly. Ensure the area is somewhat level to avoid any gate binding during assembly. Organize and place the track components so that the gate frame is easily positioned once completely assembled on the ground. Orient the top and bottom tracks so that the front of the gate is facing up for assembly as shown here. Please note that all gates require two 4-inch or 6-inch square support posts, one to act as the fulcrum post and the other is the tail support post. On the opposite side, latch posts are required to mount the gate guide and receiver. Reference your gate configuration drawing for exact information on post size, setting depth, distances and more. Visit Ameristarfence.com to download the latest version of the Transport Traverse gate drawings. Make sure to follow the exact post setting dimensions indicated in the drawing for your specific gate installation. Also ensure that the support posts are properly aligned with the latch post as shown here. After the posts are fully set, you can begin the gate assembly and installation. Large Gate Splicing Procedures For gate openings greater than 18 feet, the top and bottom tracks are required to be spliced. If your gate opening is smaller, you may skip the following splicing procedures. To splice the bottom track, align the track pieces with the pre-drilled splice mounting holes adjacent to one another. Position the splice plates on each side of the bottom track so that the channel on each splice plate engages the bottom of the track pieces creating a clamping effect. Line up the pre-drilled holes in the track pieces and splice plates, using an awl if necessary. Then insert a frame bolt and washer through the front side holes and attach on the back side with a flange nut. Once all the fasteners are installed, be sure to tighten the nuts thoroughly. Insert a splice block into one side of the top track cavity, aligning the pre-drilled holes in the track pieces and splice block using an awl if necessary. Insert a frame bolt and washer through each of the front side holes, leaving them flush with the opposite side so that the splice plate can be attached. Now slide the other top track half onto the splice block and insert a frame bolt and washer through each hole as before. Next, add a single top track splice plate to the back side of the gate aligning the holes with the bolts inserted previously. Push the bolts through the splice plate and then attach with flange nuts as shown. Once all the fasteners are installed, be sure to tighten the nuts thoroughly. This completes the track splice installation procedures. Upright installation. To continue the gate assembly, position the uprights along the bottom track at the pre-drilled hole locations. Be sure that each upright is oriented correctly as seen here, with the two pre-drilled holes closer to the end inserted into the bottom track. Beginning at one end, insert each upright into the bottom track, then the top track. Continue inserting uprights in this fashion down the length of the gate. Once the uprights are all inserted, attach them with frame bolts and washers through the front side, securing them with flange nuts. Finger tighten all these fasteners only for now. Diagonal Bracket and Brace Installation For attaching the diagonal brackets and braces, please refer to your gate configuration drawing to ensure proper placement and orientation. Diagonal brackets should be positioned close to each track with the slotted hole toward the center of the gate. Attach each bracket with a frame bolt, washer, and flange nut as shown. Tighten all diagonal bracket nuts thoroughly once they are installed. 
Note that each gate will have at least one adjustable diagonal brace placed on the tail end of the gate first. When attaching diagonal brackets for the adjustable braces, be sure to add a support plate to the opposite side of the upright as shown here. Regular diagonal braces and brackets do not require this plate. Once the diagonal brackets are in place and thoroughly tightened, assemble the adjustable diagonal brace by inserting the turnbuckle into each pre-drilled shortened brace section. Attach the turnbuckle with bolts, washers, and flange nuts as seen here. Install the adjustable diagonal brace as well as the rest of the diagonal braces according to your gate brace configuration drawing. All diagonal braces are installed using bolts and flange nuts as shown here. Be sure to install the bolts from the front of the gate to avoid interference with the picket installation later. Also, only finger tighten these fasteners for now. Post Hardware Installation Attach a post mount bracket to the bottom of each mounting post using the provided frame bolts and washers, securing on the opposite side with washers, lock washers, and nuts as seen here. Mount the post mount brackets approximately 1 and 3 quarter inches from grade. The gap between the gate and the roadway should be no more than 5 inches when complete. Make sure that the two post mount brackets are level with each other before fully tightening the hardware. Once the brackets are level, drill 11 32nd inch holes on the sides and back of each bracket as indicated here. Install a trilobe fastener into each location, tightening thoroughly. Now install a carriage to each post mount bracket using the provided 15 16 inch bolts and washers, securing on the underside with washers, lock washers, and nuts. Do not tighten the fasteners yet. Note that each trolley has a track debris brush on one side. Orient the trolleys so that one brush is toward the tail of the gate and one brush is toward the leading edge of the gate as shown here. Each trolley also has four leveling bolts. Ensure that each trolley is perfectly level adjusting the leveling bolts as needed. Next, align the support carriage trolleys, ensuring each trolley is an equal distance away from the gate posts and that the trolleys are parallel with each other. Once the trolleys are properly aligned, tighten all of the fasteners until the lock washer is fully compressed. Take care not to over-tighten, however. For gates with an opening smaller than 14 feet, the jack bolt on each trolley should be raised so that the roller assembly cannot tilt past level. Next, loosely install the top guide roller bracket to each gate post, making sure that each guide roller assembly is attached to the correct side of the tail and fulcrum posts as shown here. First assemble the brackets with bolts, washers, and nuts. Fully tighten the guide roller nut only at this point as well. Then attach each bracket assembly to the post using the U-bolt, washers, and nuts. Finger tighten only for now as the final position will be set once the gate is in position. Stand the gate upright, being careful not to twist the gate or cause damage by improper handling. Using a sling attached close to the uprights, lift the gate using two or more locations, but not at the ends. Carefully slide the gate onto the first support carriage trolley, the one furthest from the gate opening. Continue sliding the gate onto the second support carriage trolley until the gate is approximately in the half-open position. Next, install the gate stops onto both ends of the lower gate track. Insert a bolt and washer and secure using a washer and nut on the other side. Tighten the fasteners, making sure not to over tighten. Now it's time to affix the guide roller assemblies into place. Adjust the guide rollers so that they're inset into the top track as shown here, without coming into contact with the top of the gate track. Check that each guide roller bracket is plumb and level before fully tightening the guide roller assembly fasteners. Picket Installation For picket installation, the top and bottom tracks are pre-drilled their entire length so that the pickets can be attached from either the left or right depending on the direction of the gate opening. Begin installing the pickets from the end where your gate opening is, closest to the latch posts. Attach each picket with bolts and flange nuts, finger tighten only for now. Tightening and leveling. Once the pickets are in place, it's time to fully tighten all of the gate fasteners. Begin by moving the gate to the closed position, using blocks to bring the gate up to level. Now fully tighten all of the upright fasteners, followed by the diagonal bracing fasteners. 
Next, fully tighten all of the picket fasteners. Lastly, adjust the turnbuckle so that the gate is held level when removing the blocks. Latch installation. Now we will mount the gate latch. Begin by making sure the gate is in the fully closed position. Install the gate guide on the leading edge of the gate just below the top track as shown here. Mark and drill 7 16 inch holes for the guide. Attach the guide using bolts and washers, securing the other side with flange nuts. Next, align the receiver with the guide. Mark and drill 7 16 inch holes into each latch post. Attach the receiver to the posts with the bolts and washers, securing the other side with flange nuts as seen here. This completes the Transport Traverse gate assembly. The Transport Traverse Cantilever Gate System by Ameristar Perimeter Security, providing innovation to our industry for over 40 years.